into our cocoon today. All right. Mm. Good I to see you, Lori. It's good to see you too. Okay. Mm. I'm I just seeing Brennan here. It makes me think of a comment he made when I started crocheting last year. He said, you're going to be a cute grandma. <laughs> And Aww. I was like, I love that. <laughs> and I still <laughs> think of it. So thank you, Benin. Okay, I'm mm, going to... A kitty grandma. Hang in there. <laughs> a what? A kitty grandma. A kitty grandma. Yeah, I'm a kitty grandma. That's nice. Except mm. my cats are not having kittens. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so... we're here. We did it. So welcome, get cozy, come in the cocoon with us. Candace, we're so happy you're here. Brings tears to my eyes, so much joy. You could join us yes. tonight and come back. <laughs> and um, Lori, do you want to start with our nature-inspired feeling, or would you like me to go? I could start, sure. Yeah, nature-inspired um, feeling. What is it going to be today? Hmm. I'm feeling like a bubbling um, hot spring, although I've never actually been to one, like at the <sighs> national park, but I can feel it. And so there's, mm. today I've just been like, there's been moments where I've been like bubbling and then there's moments where I explode. <laughs> 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 so uh. the geyser went off like four times today. So that that's me. That's my nature <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty simple. <laughs> and I can relate. It's funny. We're very fiery uh, tonight because uh, if I think of mine, it's raging, <laughs> raging fire. Like, because I was like feeling into the embers and I'm like, nope, that's not it. And then I like, it's like, okay, the campfire. Nope. It is just like this huge. Actually, it's the center of a volcano. Oh, it's the center of a volcano. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of landing as I'm talking about it. It's like the, boom, 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 the like <laughs> so hot to touch. I'm not, I'm not erupting yet, but oh, okay. it's the, um, yeah, nice. yeah, it's definitely hot lava. It's hot lava. Okay. So like our nature inspired feeling kind of comes from the same essence of earth. Yes. Wherever the it sounds like I'm, from. it feels like I'm a step behind mm. here. So you're erupting, and I'm like the pre. The so you're pre. Erupting. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh God, hilarious! Uh, Do we have any anybody else want to share their nature inspired feeling? You can put it in our little comment section, and Sarah, if you can see it. You can let me know. Yes, and mm -hmm. if you want to explain to our new cocooners what what it means. Yes, yes. Our nature inspired so feeling. Anyone who's just watching today, it's anything inspired by nature. So it could be flora, fauna, it could be like elemental energy flows, like wind and weather, anything that's nature inspired to describe how you're feeling right now or today kind of a fun way of describing instead of happy yes. sad <laughs> which I don't really I can't even relate to it I'm like I'm sad but it's so complex <laughs> so yeah is that good do you have anything to it. add and uh no that's about it to get just a little deeper into the emotions and give it a bit something more um sometimes we re-relate it to the seasons but tonight it sounds like it's fire which Candace says maybe it's the Scorpio new moon feel. So I agree. And pre eruption. Is that today? <laughs> not that loud. That's hilarious. I don't really follow today? I don't follow along with it all the time. But yeah, I would definitely pay attention to that. That'd be would be cool to look at that. New energy feels. <laughs> Sounds like fire. Yeah. Well, yes. Join in if you'd like and uh, or leave in the comments. If you're watching this afterwards, I always love to hear what your feels are. So. Yes, we do. Hmm. All right, so shall we recap? Yes. Where we're at? So we're going to be looking at one of our pages from the Discovering Your Inner Harvest Creativity Guide. 
So we're mm. now on page six today. And if you would like your own copy of it, we are sending it out. You just have to put your email in at the link in our bio. You'll see it for discovering your inner harvest. There'll be a little input box. And then you'll get a PDF in your email. So if you'd like to follow along, you can do it there. We have our previous cocooning IG lives in our IGTV series. And if you're watching on YouTube, they're in our autumn playlist. So all kinds mm. of places. We're and what to episode with. are we on? This is episode yes. 23. 23, nice. Yeah, nice. coming on here and being vulnerably live on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, all right. So do you want to get us started? Sarah, the, yes. The first so, activity. Yes. So our first activity, which uh, we were enjoying quite a bit this season, uh, is called "Be the Pumpkin." So the little blurb is "The Pumpkin Within." Go to a local pumpkin patch or farm where you can spend some time picking out a pumpkin or two, or a gourd. <laughs> Pick out a pumpkin, oh, pumpkin or a gourd that embodies the way you feel in this moment. To how you want or how you want to feel. Spread that feeling by using every part of the pumpkin, carve, bake, cook, etc. Get creative. So this was like kind of taking our nature inspired feeling uh, to another another level. Yeah. Uh, with our season of pumpkins and gourds and embodying that piece of it. So drum roll. <laughs> This is mine. <laughs> They're coming up together. Oh, I like how both of us picked like a small cord. <laughs> yeah. Lori, tell me about yours. Yeah, I had no idea what to say. It's it was so like I saw it and I was like, that one, you know, it's just a feeling. I I love the colors. Yellow and green just go together so well, in my opinion. And mm. I feel like there's there's something about this gourd that reminds me of my personality, I guess. Um, and at least the side I like to be in, the part of it that I really enjoy the most, that feels like full of kind of wonder and there's something very cute and magical about this. <laughs> so mm. here. Um, I I love the way the stem is as well. There's I, again, I don't really have the words to to talk about this. It's just the one I picked. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> it's the one I picked. And I, I'm like enjoying hanging out with it. I've been like carrying it around like I, I put it on the <laughs> desk and I put it over here you know and it just you know hangs out with me so it's it was fun it was fun to find this and uh it's so I enjoyed that activity <laughs> yeah tell Aww. me about yours <laughs> I love it Lori it's just so like to see a picture of you with it but then to see you holding it I love it <laughs> it's me uh, so mine was kind of the same experience. There was a plethora of gourds and pumpkins and I was just like, yep, that's it. <laughs> so it was a fun little exercise activity and um, it kind of uh, spoke to me about my intention of embracing my weird, embracing my abnormal, which mm. it's interesting because two people in this cocoon tonight knew me at a young age. So I'm at a very young age and just trying to get back into my weird. <laughs> I'm a weird, a weird person. So this part kind of reminded me of that. Cause I was like, Oh, it's a watermelon, but it's not cause it's a gourd. <laughs> so I just thought that was weird. And then it was like blooming like a flower. Yeah. Like it just isn't a gourd. It wants to be other things. It's so, a watermelon flower um, gourd. It's a watermelon flower gourd. So that's kind of like blooming, blooming the abnormal, uncovering, rediscovering the weird within. <laughs> that is my, that's my gourd. I, but I, 
my thoughts are, and if anyone has suggestions, because I've started researching about this, is I want to um, make a container for my crystals. And I think I can dry this out and make a bowl with the bottom half, like with the woody part of it. So I'm going to give it a try. It looks like it's going to take quite a long time. So mm -hmm. if anyone has any suggestions we'll, we'll see what happens and then it can just be with me the inner part the inner essence can be holding holding my crystals that that, have, so. that's great I love that yeah. yeah I I've had a lot more um awareness of how to use all of what I'm consuming um <laughs> lately and so definitely with the pumpkins I'm I mean, I, I attempted to bake a pumpkin and puree it and it was looking so good, but I waited too long before using it. But yeah, with things like this, like I know you can dry them out. I, I've definitely mm -hmm. made it into a shaker before. Um, yes. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what we do with that. That's exciting. I like your suggestion mm -hmm. of a bowl. Yeah. And then spreading, spreading the feel. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we invite you to go be the pumpkin. If you if you have one, you've already done it. Maybe you can just kind of sit with it <laughs> and experience it mm -hmm. for a little while. Yeah. The, the pumpkin within. Mm -hmm. And I just have to give a little shout out to my sister because she made up a song way back in the day when we were little, uh, when she picked out her pumpkin. <laughs> share it right now okay and it goes me and my pumpkin we bonded we bonded <laughs> and I swear she was like six or seven or <laughs> she did it so she did the exercise yeah she knew what she was doing she time warped <laughs> mm -hmm. so we would always uh laugh about that but this uh, this little exercise activity reminded me of that so mm -hmm. that's cute yeah yeah very cool Okay, grounding your gratitude. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's talk about this one. Okay, so our next experiencing your inner harvest, grounding your gratitude. Take a, a contemplative walk outside whenever you find an acorn or shell or stone, if you don't have acorns. Think of something you are grateful for. Pick it up and keep it safe in a bowl or a small bag. Do this until you feel complete. Then hold them all in your hands, give thanks, and give them back to the earth. You can find a tree or rock to place them on or just spread them out on the ground. Imagine how natural forces, as well as birds, squirrels, and other animals will gather your gratitude harvest and bury those good thoughts back into the ground. Hmm. I really <laughs> like that part. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So yeah, so I have um plans to do this one. And when I do it, I think I would like to do the like kind of spreading it out in a nice spot part and you know, or maybe even making a little art on the ground. You know, thinking of that. With the acorns. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to take my time with this. Um, but I'm excited. We've got probably a few more weekends of beautiful, chilly <laughs> weather to go do this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely the feel of this one. Very welcoming, and it does make me think of my little ones. They love to collect acorns um, and get as many as they can. And so I think I will join them next time we do that. Um, and something about burying them, like the squirrels, is, is calling to me. So hopefully the ground won't freeze too soon. But I feel like gathering and burying um, in a group. Ooh. All my all my gratitude is together in one. Ooh, I like that. Secure, too. buried You're cocoon. Gonna cocoon it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cocoon it up. Cocoon it. That's yeah. nice. I um, I just had a memory of um, the hiking trail I used to go to down the road from 
my house. And you probably remember that one because you went with me yes. after high school many times. And I, I forgot I used to have like a ritual of picking up an acorn and kind of holding it for like the whole hike. And then when I got to the, um, the water, at the reservoir, I would like kind of cast it in with like a, a good thought mm. and I would watch the ripples. And so I guess that's another way you could, you know, cast it out, cast out your gratitude back to the earth. Hmm. Totally mm. forgot about that until this morning. <laughs> I like that. Or even writing something with it, um, mm. especially shells. Like I've been really uh, into, I haven't done it yet, but writing a word and then letting the ocean, the tide come up and take it away. Mm. Um, so... All, all these healing ways for this activity. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. So we invite you to try that out and let us know how how it goes. If it if it's a cool experience for you. So, should we do the last one all together? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this one is called Autumn Abundance Visualization. It is going to be best if you close your eyes, get relaxed, get cozy. And Sarah, you can close your eyes. Okay. And just take a few breaths and let yourself drift into a lush meadow at sunrise. The leaves on the trees appear to be glowing, golden in the morning light. You see a path and follow it, taking you further into the dense forest. Listen to the sounds around you. Hear each creature individually And then as one chorus. Smell the crisp autumn air and notice the way it fills up your whole body. Now you see a small tree ahead. It's heavy with bright red berries that remind you of how abundant life is when you remember to exist in harmony with nature. Reach out and touch the berries. And feel its abundant energy transfer into you and into your life. Take a few moments to fully let it in. Thank the tree and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. all enjoyed that little visualization I like that yeah we have a you know a prairie that prairie crab apple tree outside and it just it feels even more magical this year I don't know if it's because of this autumn abundance visualization but I cannot imagine not stopping and looking at it every time I go out and you know I live in this apartment complex and I don't think anyone else <laughs> notices it and I'm like always stopping and taking pictures and being with it and feeling it and it's like you're so amazing so I don't know it just reminds me of that prairie crab apple tree out there that's 
just bright red popping right now. It's beautiful. Yeah, the bright red berries, the crimson red, it's really, really popped this year. I mean, I thought of my autumn olive berries, yes. but there's been a lot, uh, especially on accounts we follow and everything of all different yeah whatever mm -hmm. elderberry. elderberry yeah i'd love to hear what red berries people thought of or imagined or what their trees looked like or any experiences they may have had with this mm. sounds good very cool <sighs> well <laughs> now that we're relaxed in our cocoon. Do we have any other thoughts that we wanted to share about this page? No, I think uh, I think it was nice to have a few different things going on on a page and I definitely experienced my inner harvest, so I hope you did too. <laughs> did. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. It's, it's just a little different. It's more like bringing it in, into your life to me mm -hmm. cool well we invite you all to keep joining us on this adventure we've got a few pages left and what is next week Sarah it is we're moving into the morning ritual page I was, <laughs> or, I was like, is it morning ritual? Morning. Every week I'm like, is it morning <laughs> ritual? <laughs> yeah, you've asked me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been excited oh, for this me speech. too. Yeah. Mm. Mine could use a boost. I think that's perfect timing, actually. Moving into November. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to be bringing our inner harvest to our morning routine or ritual. I'm looking forward Especially to as we're see. changing the clocks here. Yes. In Connecticut, so that is great timing for me. Cause, yeah, yeah, my morning could use a little revamping. <laughs> yeah, it's much darker here in the morning, so mm -hmm. bringing some light to the morning routine would be nice. Do we have any comments we want to respond to? No, there I, we think, go. I think that's about that's about it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. And Candace, is she still here? I'm looking. Oh, yeah. yay, very good. It's so good to see you. Thank you for being here, Cocooners. Mm -hmm. and Thank you all for joining us. Yeah. It's so it's special. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. I, know, I love this. Awesome. Very, very yeah. cool. So we are sending you all much love, and we will see you soon with love and transformation. From our cocoon to yours. <laughs> Bye. Bye.